Hey pool owners, it's Rob with Inyo Pools. Today we're going to show you how to manually vacuum a pool. Uh, these are the three things you'll need. Uh, you'll need a pool pole, uh, a vacuum head, and a hose. Uh, now this vacuum head is for a gunite pool. Um, you wouldn't want to use this on a vinyl pool. Um, the vinyl ones are usually triangular and they have a uh, brushes on the bottom to keep the uh, the suction a little farther away from the liner. Uh, if you use this in a vinyl pool, it could get um, that you could damage the vinyl liner either by the wheels or it, this the uh, the hole being so close to the bottom. Um, but the uh, the first thing you want to do is attach the vac head to the pole. little clips here that you just compress and slide in there okay then you'll want to take the hose um, and you'll see there's two ends uh, one has a swivel and one does not so you'll take the end that swivels and you'll place that onto the vac head okay then we'll go ahead and take the pole and the vac head Stick that into the pool. And also this is a good time to go ahead and remove the skimmer lid and the basket. And now before you plug the hose in to the skimmer, you want to flush out all the air in the hose. Because if you don't, that air will be sucked into the system and you'll lose your prime. You won't be able to vacuum. So, there's a couple different ways you can get the air out of the hose, but this is the way I do it. I just put the hose in. And then I'll go over to a jet. Just hold that there and you'll see the air being pushed out of the hose. And the back head will lift. It'll blow all the air out. And obviously, I didn't say it before, the, uh, the pump is, is going to be running during this time. Alright, and then you can take the, the hose, try and keep it underwater. And you'll feed that through the skimmer opening. And then down into the hole. Um, if there's sometimes there's two holes at the bottom one might be plugged the other one's open you just want to make sure it's going to the one that's actually pulling water all right and I'll go ahead and start at one end and work my way over to the other I need you kind of short Little strokes here, just kind of overlapping, like you would when you're vacuuming inside your house. And you would just do this until you cover the pool. All right, now this type of vacuuming is more for maintenance. If you've got a lot of leaves in the pool or you're just opening it up for the season, you may want to get what they call a leaf eater. Um, it basically, uh, it's the type of uh, vac head that has a bag on top and you, and you don't connect it to your skimmer system, you actually connect a garden hose to it and the garden hose sprays water down, creates a venturi and pushes everything into that leaf bag. Uh, so that's the kind of thing you'd use. Uh, you wouldn't want to use this for a, a bunch of leaves. And then when you're done, you can unplug the hose. Slide it back out of the skimmer. And kind of pull everything out of the pool. I'll pull it out this way so it kind of drains the hose. So I have water all over the deck.
All right, a couple other things to keep in mind. If you do have a few leaves and you want to use your vacuum, you could use a vac plate like this. So basically you'd have the, the basket in place. And you put the, the vac plate on top and then you'd plug your hose right into that vac plate and then the leaves would get stuck in that basket instead of going into your into your lines and possibly clogging up the lines or your impeller. Um, another option would be to get a, a leaf canister which is like a clear tube with a basket inside and usually comes with a short piece of hose and then you just connect your vac hose uh, to the opposite side of that leaf canister and it traps your leaves in there. Um, if you're not getting enough suction, uh, I had my main drain on and I was getting plenty of uh, suction, but if you weren't, you could shut the main drain off or partially close it and that would increase suction to your skimmer. So again, that's the main drain, so I would just turn this valve and partially close the main drain. Also, I have a variable speed pump and I've got it set to about 70%. Uh, to vacuum so you'll want to keep it on a on a higher speed if you have a low if you have a two-speed pump you can just run it on the on the high speed if you have any questions on how to manually vacuum your pool leave a comment down below or visit us over in thanks